is a certain kind of man to whom the creation of something unique in all the world is a goal worthy of his time, talent, and skill. Famed racing entrepreneur Andy Granatelli and his son Vince are such men. In 1978, Andy Granatelli and his son Vince began a new project. Using technology from his multi-million dollar Indianapolis program, they created the most exciting exotic passenger car of all times. This is the Granatelli Jet Corvette, born of an era where some thought the turbines would be the next big thing in cars. One of those was Andy Granatelli, the man who made STP a household brand. Back in the 60s, Andy decided he was going to go win the Indy 500 with a turbine-powered race car. Working with Colin Chapman's Lotus, Granatelli's cars came close to winning in 1967 and 68 before they were banned. While um, my father wasn't the person to have the idea of, of running the, uh, the gas turbine engine, I think he felt that when he saw um, the cars that uh, Andy Granatelli was, was racing with, um, that there was a real opportunity to take a, um, a kind of Chapman approach to coming up with a car that ran with the gas turbine engine. <laughs> A decade after the IndyCar effort ended, Andy Granatelli's son Vince decided to put a spare turbine engine into a vehicle that he could drive on the street. Someone calls you and says, do you want to drive an 880 horsepower jet engine to Corvette? There's only one answer. Yes. Yes, I do. Hard on the brakes. Hard on the brakes. Hard on the brakes. I'm going to put it in here. All right. Now you just let off the brake and you'll start going. Holy moly. Don't, don't use the accelerator until we get out on the track. We get a sense of how fast it goes. Idling, it goes about 60, 65 miles an hour, and you can see it just gradually. Accelerates up to about 65. Wow. The model was fine. Yeah, there is a lag, so you can you get on it now. By the time you straighten out, it'll really be going. Wow. The vet and the Lotus may be a dead end of automotive evolution, but decades later they can still roar with life. Both go to auction January 17th at Barrett Jackson.